What's up guys, Marco here again from Crypto Mining Lab. Today I'm gonna be reviewing, uh, you know, a different type of miners. Today I'm gonna be reviewing a second-hand unit, which is currently uh, not overpriced and it's still up on the hash rate and it's still profitable. This is uh, just to give you guys a different ways on, uh, you know, starting uh, to start your journey mining uh, Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. Uh, for today's video, uh, we're gonna be using uh, Bitcoin as, uh, you know, as the uh, cryptocurrency. So I'm gonna give you an example on how to start your journey without having to uh, spend a lot, to, to put in a lot of, you know, a large investment, uh, especially for people that, you know, just getting started, uh, getting into uh, crypto cryptocurrency mining. So I just got here second hand unit as you can see it's well packed and everything so i'm gonna gonna take it to the office and tell you all more about it uh, but before we uh, get into the video i just want i just want to let you guys know that i just finished building my website i will leave uh i will leave a link for the website uh for this on this uh, this uh, video's description uh, you guys, if you want to get, you know, uh, news, latest news on pricing for ASIC miners or you have any inquiry regarding any brand new uh, secondhand ASIC miner from China here, just yeah. subscribe to the subscribe to the um, mailing list or just email me directly. You have you, you will have a lot of information on the website explaining how exactly it works. Uh, if you want to guys get in touch with me. Uh, please check it check it out and subscribe to the mailing list so you can you can get an update every two or three days uh, you know regarding uh, market price okay done with that let's go back to the office and show you what it, we have got here so what we have here is an ant miner this is a second hand unit I'll just give you a quick look. The second hand unit, but it comes within its original package. This is the Ant Miner S17 S, uh, sorry, S17 Plus, and this is a, a 73 terahash uh, BTC miner. So, as you can see, for a second hand unit, it's it's in pretty good shape. What I'm gonna do, and I'm, I'm gonna put it out from the box, and I'll put it on the table and give you guys a quick look. Okay, it's out of the box. And as you can see, this is pretty clean. This is not like the type that you get directly from the farm. This is second hand, but it's not a, a standard second hand. This is like a modified version. Uh, has brand new fans. Even the, uh, you can see the, you know, the shell and you know, the frame has uh, some scratches, but it's still in pretty good shape the power supply even they kept the original thing but the inside is is brand new so and what they have done the most important thing is they have upgraded the heat sinks which was the most you know problem problematic thing with the s17 series and the t17 this model is as you can see it's the s17 plus 73 terahash <coughs> So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off the front fans. Just give you a quick look on the uh, heat sinks, the upgrade heat sinks inside. So what what it does is that it gives a better cooling for, for the miner. And the most important thing is these brand new modified heat sinks, they don't fall off uh, during transit or if you ship them somewhere else or if you move them. Okay, just to give you a close look on the uh, the upgrade heat sink, as you can see here, the original ones are not like this, but these are uh, upgraded, so they they're pretty pretty good and pretty stable. So uh, on the original one, they don't uh, basically they don't use screws to you know to 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 hold the heat sink into the the the, the hash board, but these are upgraded, so there's no way. Uh, this is gonna fall if uh, let's say if you move them or if they got too hot that that was the main concern of the the s uh, t17 s17 models okay just a quick look on the uh, this s17 uh, uh, plus 70 meter hash oh, okay so it's been up and running for for about 10 minutes and I'll just give you a quick look on the minor interface as we can see here, the hash rate, is, the average is up to 73, which is supposed to be uh, the maximum hash rate. We have the temps here, temperatures are within range, 
all the chips are present and yeah we have 65 chips per hash board 570 frequency I mean this is a pretty uh, good performance for you know for such a for such you know second-hand unit this is a very good alternative for people that wants to start you know mining Bitcoin without having to you know spend a lot of money with you know buying a uh, brand new miner okay just want to give you a little a little tip before I turn off the miner so especially especially for this s17 so what it has is if you go to minor configuration and as you can see here it has uh, it's called sleep mode so this is very useful if you want to move your miner uh, you know turn it off move it somewhere else or uh, for whatever reason it's better to switch to sleep mode you just hit sleep mode and apply so the miner a uh, stop stop mining but in the same time the fans will keep spinning uh, cooling down the miner before you uh, try to move it somewhere else because this S17 had a lot of problem with especially with heat sinks so it's better you cool down the heat sinks before you try to move the miner so uh, just a little, uh, little tip which is very useful uh, for this kind of miners so I'm gonna do that I just hit save and apply and I'll give it about five minutes so the temperatures will drop down and uh, then I can move it away. So now as you can see it's not mining. So the red light is on so it's not working. It's just cooling, cooling the hash boards here.